The red hot rivalry between Shotzi and her opponent is about to get the temperature turned up another notch here on SmackDown. These two have already thrown the rule book out of the window, so what better way to settle things than a no disqualification match? Bring on the chaos. She'll get sent out the hard way. Gets inside the ring. DDT spiked. Ooh, what a forearm club. A mat slam with some attitude. Oh, the arm's trapped. Oh, what a slam. She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by count out. Looking like the newest prospect for the Rockford Peaches. No. Suicide dive. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. And she had Shotzi's number there. Close line. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. She's getting back up. But she might be down again soon. Oh, no. Not with the bat. Home run. Destructive amount of work being done to Shotzi right now. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? And it looks like she has swift justice in mind. We're seeing the same aggression here that we saw during that pre-match attack last week. It's Raquel Rodriguez. Apparently, she's not a fan of how Shotzi was used to prove a point. Raquel and Shotzi haven't always seen eye to eye, but these two came up together in NXT. I guess that counts for something. Either that or she just wanted in on the fun of this no DQ match. All this is perfectly legal. And so was that. Ava Marino from behind. This team may not have cashed it in yet, but that briefcase is proving to be pretty handy. Shotzi with a roll up. Ava slides the briefcase in, and she nails Shotzi. Look at it capitalize. She got the win. I guess the briefcase did turn out to be the determining factor in this match. And some teamwork, too. Something that we haven't seen yet from this pairing. They may not have chosen each other initially, but maybe this tag team does have what it takes to make good on the promise of that Money in the Bank briefcase. 